guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews. Okay, so it's December and I am finally getting around to doing my November Birchbox Ipsy Play unboxing. I am so sorry that it took me this long. Life, you know, it happens, it gets in the way. Anyway, I promise, I promise that December's boxes will be done in a timely manner. Okay. So let's just jump right into this. I do have all three boxes. I've been playing with all of this stuff for quite some time now, so I definitely have a feel for everything here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with Birch Box. Okay, so the first thing in here is from Divines. This is a sea salt spray. That's literally what it says on here. This is a sea salt spray. It smells really good, kind of beachy, coconutty, you know, that kind of a scent, but it's a really nice scent. And this, by the way, is a really big sample. This is supposed to be really hydrating. My hair is actually, I think, maybe overly hydrated. It's not oily. My hair will not hold a curl. It's just, it's become a nuisance, especially since it's gotten longer. When it was nice and short, it was super easy to do, but now I'm just having a hell of a time with it. So anyway, um, I have stopped using conditioner altogether. I just shampoo my hair and then I just use my wet brush to detangle it and whatever. So anyway, I sprayed this in my wet hair and suddenly my hair was tangle free. So I don't know if it's the moisturizing aspects or what, but I put this in my wet hair and it really did help to get the tangles out. Also, it adds a lot of texture and volume. It doesn't make your hair look like straw. Like, okay, I have it in my hair right now. I know my hair is a mess, I'm sorry. I honestly took like an hour doing my hair and it looked like poo and um, this is what's left over of that nonsense. You guys, I have been having a rough time lately. <laughs> okay, so anyway, enough about this interesting sea salt spray. I really do like it and I would recommend it. The next thing in here is from Bobbi Brown. This is Smoky Eye Mascara. I find this to be a perfectly fine mascara, but it wasn't like a, there was no wow factor, you know? It doesn't flake or smudge. It's actually kind of difficult to get off. I mean, it's not like crazy difficult, but I definitely have to do one more step to get this off kind of a thing. Um, it's fine. It's fine, it's totally fine. I would not go out and buy this again, but I will use my sample. You know, it's that kind of a thing. This is the cutest little thing. I love the look of these little lipstick samples. I just think that they're darling, but they're totally impractical to use because they always break. Anyway, this is from Jane Iredell. This is the Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain in Forever Pink. So this is one of those where you put it on and it's supposed to adjust to your body heat chemistry. I don't know, something. Anyway, it makes my lips just look weird. In fact, I did a video not that long ago. I think it was maybe Rebecca Mail or something. And I'm wearing this and all I'm wearing is this. The only thing on my lips. And at first I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. It's just like, you know, a light pink and it's very hydrating. It feels really nice on your lips. But when I watched that video, I was like, oh, I hate that. I hate it so much. It just looks stupid. It's like, because the color isn't even, you know? It's like slightly darker pink here and lighter pink there. And I mean, it doesn't look blotchy. It looks like I've been eating popsicles and I put on some clear chapstick. That's what it looks like to me. So anyway, I'm not crazy about how it looks on me, but it feels really comfortable on my lips. It's very hydrating. I've actually been wearing it on no makeup days when I'm not leaving the house because it feels really nice on my lips. This one is from Marcel. Generally speaking, I really like Marcel products. This is the three in one day night eyes. At first I thought this was an eye cream because they threw eyes on there. Evidently it is supposed to be a three in one, like it's, you know, your night cream, your day cream and your eye cream all in one. For my taste, it is a little lightweight. If you are a no fuss, have nice skin kind of a person, it's kind of, see, it's kind of, it's a little bit runny, it's very thin, but it's nice. I mean, again, if you have nice normal skin and you're super low maintenance and you just want one cream, you know, this might be a good option because it does feel really good on my skin. It just wasn't hydrating enough for me. Plus I'm kind of high maintenance, <laughs> you know. I had my day cream, my night cream, my other night cream, my other day cream, my other, you know. So this, it just, it's not my kind of a thing, but I don't think it's a bad product. Okay, and then the last thing in here is a perfume sample. Normally I'm not that into perfume samples, but I have started actually wearing perfume lately. And this is Raw Spirit, what is this actually called? Yeah, Raw Spirit Fragrances, and it is in the, the flavor. <laughs> the, uh, the scent, Wildfire. I love it. 
I absolutely love it. It's kind of woodsy and musky and it just has a really great scent to it. It's, it's, it feels to me like one of those, um, what is wrong with my brain? Come on words. Like, like gender, gender neutral, you know, like it could be for guys too, kind of a thing. I generally prefer men's cologne over women's perfume. I just don't like things really fruity, floral, sweet, <laughs> you know, everything that's in a woman's perfume, not my thing. Uh, but I really, really like this one. I've been wearing it a lot. I'm like halfway through the sample and I've been wearing it a lot. So I'm, you know, I'm loving this. I ha I'm super happy with it and it is a spray top thing. So that's good. Whew, I feel like I need to breathe for a second. Okay, so that is Birchbox. Okay, so this is the Ipsy bag. It has kind of a weird texture. It's like almost like a foamy, I don't know what this is. This blush right here, I don't I've never even heard of this brand. I don't know what this is. Freematic Blush Douce? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I love it. I super love it. It's this, okay, the sample is kind of cute. It has a slidey thing. And then on the back, it's got magnets. So you can put it in your Z palette. <gasps> I love it. I'm so happy. This, fac this packaging. This packaging is fantastic. Uh, and the blush is amazing. I have it on my cheeks right now. It is pretty much all I have on my cheeks today. I went super low maintenance with makeup. I also have it in my crease on my eyes. It's such a pretty color. It's so funny because I do not look good in orange, but I really love these like peachy orangey blushes. When I first saw that I was like, mm, I don't think that's gonna look good on me. It does, I love it. It's great. Ico, I actually have several different Ico eyeliners. So I have the fat one, which I think I got in a birch box a while ago and I love it. And I have this Ico skinny eyeliner in the color purple that I got from birch box a million years ago. And I totally love this one. This one is also a skinny eyeliner, but it's in black. And this is obviously the sample size compared to the normal size. I have it on today and I've been wearing this pretty much every day. It's a great felt tip liner. It goes on really easily. I mean, you basically just have to draw. For the most part, it doesn't smudge on me. If my eyes are watery and like at the end of the day, I kind of rub, it will smudge a bit. But for the most part, it stays put and I really, really like it. This is a face moisturizer from Nooks. How do you say that? Anyway, uh, this is super duper perfumey, so I'm not putting this on my face. However, as a hand cream, it's like my new favorite. I mean, it's still super strong, but you can see it's nice and thick and creamy, and it just feels fabulous. My hands will feel silky soft and look great all day long if I, okay, maybe not all day long, but it's so strongly scented. So I don't know, if you don't mind that sort of thing, or if you like scented facial products, Maybe, but I don't. Uh, however, I will absolutely throw this in my purse and use it as a hand cream. Yay! And then I have two samples which are going into my giveaway pile. If you are new to my channel, what I do is I collect all of the samples I know I won't use or I have repeats of, and I put them in a pile, and when the pile gets big enough, I do a giveaway to give back to you guys. So, the two going in my pile are the Professional, which is an amazing primer. It really is. It's just that it's loaded with silicone and I have super sensitive skin that likes to break out every time I use a silicone-based primer. So that one's going in my pile, but it is a great primer. This one, okay, I love red lipstick. As you can see, I love red lipstick. This is not this product. What I'm wearing on my lips right now is from Bite Beauty. It's red velvet. I actually just did a video not that long ago doing a bunch of Bite Beauty lip swatches. This lipstick, I did not even bother with. I don't, uh, it's from Absolute New York and it is in the color dark red, which is, you know, seemingly right up my alley. And, and it just looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful color and it's a matte, and I, every time I went to put it on, I was like, I can't. I just, I know it's going to smear everywhere and I'm not doing it. I'm gonna give it to somebody else who can actually get some use out of it because yes, I could review it for you guys, but let's be real, who cares? I'm not going to ever wear it again. I swear, I tried to put it on several times and I was like, ah, it's gonna smear everywhere, I can't do it. Now, the Bite Beauty one will absolutely smear everywhere, but I love Bite Beauty lipsticks, and so this is like, you know, a special occasion. If I'm gonna reach for a lipstick, it's going to be Bite Beauty over Absolute New York. This could be amazing, I don't know. Anyway, it's going on one of you guys. And that completes my Ipsy. So for my play box this month, we have the Glow Getters. I love these little bags. I just think that they're lovely. Oh, I just hit my elbow on my table. Okay, so I have yet another facial moisturizer. This was like, 
I got one in every single box. It was crazy. This one from Caudalie, I actually really like, and I have been using this sort of off and on. It is the Vino Source Creme Sorbet. I love Caudalie. They have such nice products, and I love this. I've been using this. It's, it's totally great. This is a primer from Cover FX, and it is the Illuminating Primer. Cover FX actually has several different primers, and I have tried a couple of them. This one is amazing. I super duper love this. So it comes out in this wonderful sort of pearly color and it definitely has some luminous luminosity to it but it's not like crazy shimmery it just makes your skin look really nice and glowy so you could totally wear this on its own and it you you're just your skin would look great and it would feel great and it's hydrating and it's wonderful also it is silicone free remember how i said that i didn't like the professional because of the silicone silicone free so i'm loving this i've been wearing it a lot i'm wearing it today it actually does remind me a lot of like the becca backlight primer which is my new obsession I love that stuff I actually bought it for my mom too and this reminds me a lot of that just the way that it goes on the way that it feels on your skin the luminosity that it brings to your face all of that good stuff speaking of luminosity uh, this is from Laura Mercier this is the rose gold caviar stick eye color I'm not sure why it's called caviar anyway this is just an eyeshadow stick and it's in this wonderful champagne color. This does not look rose gold to me. It looks like champagne. Can you see that? I have it on my eyes today and I have it like from top to bottom top to bottom, top to bottom. Anyway, I have it all over my eyelid. And then, like I said, I put this blush in my crease and that was it, that was it for eyeshadow. This is really nice. It is super creamy, super easy to blend, just like with your finger. That's how I've been doing it, is I just kind of swipe it on and then blend it out with my finger. And it just blends out beautifully. It wears all day, it doesn't crease. It makes an excellent base for eyeshadow. It's a really nice product. I really like cream stick eyeshadows. I don't use them often enough. This is not the right color for me. I tried it on because I thought, oh, well, you know, if it's sheer enough, maybe it'll look okay. And if not, I'll just give it to June because June would totally love this. And it does seem to be pretty sheer, but it's a bright, pink, which just does not look good on my skin tone. I was wearing it the other day, I went to my in-laws and my mother-in-law was like, oh, what's on your lips? It looks really pretty. I said, really? I think it looks awful on me. And she's like, oh, well, I guess I just really like the shininess of it. It's very glossy, shiny, you know, it feels really nice. It's your typical sticky lip gloss. It's not super sticky, I shouldn't say that. Um, but it is a lip gloss and it's fairly sheer, but it definitely has some color to it. The thing that I really don't like about this is that you put it on once, right? And you're like, okay, that's a sheer wash of pink. And then, you know, the gloss, and then it kind of dries out throughout the day after you eat, whatever. And so you put some more on and now it's like twice as pink as it was before. It leaves behind a pink stain so that when you first put it on in the morning, you have a sheer wash of color. By the end of the day, your lips are bright effing pink. That part I don't like. I like things that are consistent, you know? I don't want it to change color throughout the day. So that was that was a little weird. I don't know about this. Anyway, this I have had before and I love. It is the Glam Glow Hydrating Mask. What is this actually called? Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And you can use this as like a 20 minute hydrating mask. What I actually do with it is I use it as an overnight hydrating mask and I love it. My skin always just feels really nice and plump and hydrated and it doesn't irritate my skin. It's wonderful. I really love a lot of the Glam Glow stuff, but it's, it's really expensive, and so I never actually buy it, but I was happy to get another sample because I do love it. It's, it's a really good hydrating mask. And then the last thing in here is a perfume sample from Replica. Jazz Club is my favorite. I'm like, I don't even wanna tell anybody because I feel like this is my signature scent. It was meant for me. It smells so good on me. It's actually a man's cologne, but it has a sweetness to it that makes it more feminine in my opinion. I don't know, I guess it depends on who wears it. Anyway, Jazz Club is my all time favorite. Beach Walk smells like that wonderful, like sunscreeny beachiness that's just, oh, I love Beach Walk for like, the summer is my Beach Walk scent and date night, winter is my Jazz Club. This is lipstick. I don't like this one. It smells like, I don't know, baby powder? You know how I just told you that I'm not usually that into girly perfumes? This is like girly girly and that I'm just, I'm just not into it. But anyway, I do like replica perfumes and colognes in general. Okay, and that completes it finally. Yay, I'm 
am so sorry that this was so late, you guys, but hey, better late than never, huh? So I wanna hear from you guys. What did you get? What were your favorite things and all that jazz? I have a ton more videos coming up. I am really going to try to be better about getting them online. I'm telling you, I've had a rough couple of weeks. I've been in a funk. I have not been able to do anything. But I'm feeling better. I'm excited about the holidays. Things are happening. I'm gonna make it happen. We're doing this. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss things like my giveaway that's going to be coming up soon and lots of other unboxings and makeup reviews and Colin and I are going to try to start cooking some more. So lots coming. I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, you know the drill. All right guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.